everybody. Welcome to this issue of Pit Talk TV. We're right here as we are going to be every Saturday night for the next few months. Right here in the middle of the Rockford Speedway. 76 years of continuous racing. And here at Pit Talk, it's our goal this year to bring you some behind the scenes look at not only our drivers and their teams and their support staff, but the racetrack team and the racetrack support staff. And so we're going to mix in all sorts of interviews, a little bit different with Pit Talk than we normally do, but we are gonna to get to see and talk with our, our drivers like we have in the past, but we wanna show you what it really does take to run this quarter mile racetrack. We're in our last lap season, and it's just a joy to bring you Pit Talk from the Rockford Speedway. So, here we go. Races are done. It's been a long night, a lot of racing. And a lot of you guys um, know this man by voice, but you may not know him by face. And this is Eric Hulefeld. And Eric is the voice of the Rockford Speedway, but not only the Rockford Speedway. Um, tell me where else that you're actively doing announcing at, because your plate is full. I'm <laughs> busy, y'all. People say, oh, it's the weekend. I'm like, oh, I don't got any days off. Yeah. Um, but uh, here, of course, on Saturday nights, um, if we ever don't get any rain, I'm on Friday nights up in Darlington at Lafayette County Speedway. We've been unlucky there so far this year. Um, and doing some super late model type stuff, Midwest tour, all that sort of stuff. And uh, of course, the radio gig, my weekday job, <laughs> um, morning show in Freeport. Um, high school sports on the radio, which here in the spring will get a little going with baseball, softball, but primarily football, basketball, all that. So stay busy. It that's does. For sure. It keeps you going. Yeah. And, and how's your voice do through? By the by, Sunday you don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> well, and then the problem's been here lately. I've been a little scratchy, but my, I don't know why. And I think a lot of people have had sinus stuff going here lately. And yeah. between that and 
going three or four days in a row with the different stuff, it's, it's been tough. But, well, but, the weather's not helping us. No, it's not helping anybody with anything. I mean, when you're standing up there, and uh, Eric doesn't sit in the media booth no. uh, to do color for the racetrack. He actually stands at the top of the stands <laughs> with a clipboard in his hand. Mm. Now, Eric, I know that um, one of the, the big things that, that I know that I like to hear is when we have the late models mm. or the big eights mm -hmm. and they do their parade lap and everything and your big your big thing is it's late model showtime showtime yeah. where'd that come from well i, I tell you um you know it's kind of funny because i remember an interview a long time ago with hugh deary i read he said i never had an original idea you know something always came from something um late model showtime is from a guy in Iowa named Jerry Mackey. He still does it to this day, Showtime and all that stuff. But I just kind of took it and ran with it. And the thing of it is, is you get over to this part of the world, nobody's heard it. Right. So it's completely new. And it's funny because I'll have friends in Iowa that say, I heard this guy do the Showtime thing. <laughs> He's nothing like you. And I said, well, that's the guy I got it from. <laughs> so it's, that's where it's emanated from. And there's a lot of different variations of that. I know some sprint car guys, this and that. But that's where I got it from. And it's kind of found a life of its own here. It's fun to um it, it's fun to go to different tracks mm. kyle and i uh do the big eight along with our brother simon mm. and you know we've got the heat races we've got all the other divisions that we don't normally see mm. here mm. then all of a sudden we hear <laughs> it's late model showtime it's your alarm clock like, eric's here <laughs> you know and a lot of times out in the infield we can't hear the right, announcer right. but we can hear that mm -hmm. and I, it just does something i just love it yeah. so tell me how long you've been coming here to the racetrack well right so i was born in december of 84 Jeez. so i was probably here in like april of 85 <laughs> four years after i graduated yeah, high school. you know oh i didn't mean to God. do that but no i mean you know off and on and it was kind of you know, back when, you know, Rockford has always been a Saturday night. And when I was younger, I'm from over by Freeport. And Freeport raced on Sunday nights. So mm -hmm. Those were my two home tracks. My family kind of has the roots over there. But we always came here a lot. So I was here. I was there. Um, you know, so that's kind of how I grew up. Um, and, you know, kind of sidetracking a little bit. Um, the unfortunate thing about the racetrack in Freeport is... 12 years ago they closed right without yeah. warning oh. within two days the walls were knocked down and it was over and when all this came about for it being our last season here my hope was and i kind of vocalized it was give us a last season give us a chance yeah. to kind of yeah. and i think through a few shows we've seen it you know tonight's show went long good crowd like nobody wanted to leave they're having a good time i think we're going to see a lot of that stuff this year but i just i'm happy we all get that chance to do it one more time. Car counts are we're, mm -hmm. we're up. Good you cars. Know, good good cars. races. The Sixers yeah. put on a hell of a show there at the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and uh, when you see 24 cars out here and there's no caution <laughs> a lot for, of action. The, for the first 14 <laughs> laps. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, they really put on a heck of a show. For sure. So we all know, you know, we're in our last days of uh, the Speedway. You have a lot going as far as other announcing places other than Rockford. Are you going to continue on with that? Or? That's my hope. Um, you know, I if people have asked, and they've asked pretty early about that, what are you going to do next year? What are the drivers going to do next year? I don't know. You know, um, this is very, very much home for a lot of us. Um, I'll find something. Yeah. Um, whatever it is, you know, I've got almost seven-year-old daughter too which takes up time and i'm happy about that i'm always good to spend time and do stuff with her but so you got to think of that um you know i don't really have anything laid out yet for next year um next year is 25 years of doing this for me since i oh started my. Wow. Uh, my dad was driving me to the track the first year or so when i started awesome. announcing in freeport and darlington See? so i'd like to make 25 i just have no idea what it's going to hold but I want to enjoy this year, and awesome. we'll worry about next year when we get there. That's know? kind of where we're at, yeah. and, um, you know, um, everybody's always asking, Kyle, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, who knows? There might be another track in the area that right. wants the, the video um, setup that he's got. He brings a lot to the table. Right. Um, and his drone, he's been flying that drone around tonight like crazy, and... <laughs> And uh, I get a kick out of it because my drone, my I can't fly it with nothing. You know, <laughs> it, it can go up and it can come down, and that's about it. Yeah. He can 
flying around the track. Um, tonight he was able to fly alongside um, most of the divisions See, except not. for the late models. Mm -hmm. He couldn't keep up with them, and uh, <laughs> but that was pretty good. So you never know. There might be another track that that wants to open up and, and take Kyle on right. um, for his video stuff. For me, I don't know. All right. I don't All right. know. I, I became hot shot kind of on a whim about eight years ago, sitting right here in this mm -hmm. very spot mm -hmm. um, at, at an event. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of turned and looked at Kyle and said, why don't we do it, <laughs> you know? And that, why don't we do it, it's turned into just seven, eight years of uh, it's a lot of work, right. but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. And, um, That's why we keep coming back. I, it is. <laughs> you know, and like I said last week, I've been coming here since I was nine. That's mm -hmm. 51 years now. Mm -hmm. And you figure the racetrack's been open 76, and I've been here 51 of them. So, <laughs> I get that. You know, me <laughs> and Marty Goff, I, I think we're uh, uh, two of the two that have been here the longest. For me, it, it blows my mind, not to interrupt, but, you know, I've been around here in a roundabout way since 2006. Yeah. That's a big percentage, you know, of time at this place, which blows my mind, you know, and much like you, I'm sure you kind of get that. So. Yeah, I, I started coming out with my dad uh, when I was nine, and I mowed lawns to mm -hmm. earn money, and Jody was the first one to take my money at the <laughs> ticket gate down there, and she, she leaned up to the window, and she said, is this your money? I said, yes, it is. And she says, did you earn it or did your dad give it to you? And I said, I mowed lawns today. To She says, good, it won't hurt you a bit. And from there, we've been on the way. So, Eric, I just want to say thank you for coming on Pit Talk Absolutely. tonight. It's something that we've been wanting to do, and we finally got a chance to uh, wrangle you down here and, um, and talk with you a little bit. It's always fascinating to see the behind the scenes stuff and we're gonna be doing a lot more of that this year. Awesome. And try and not only talk to our drivers, but talk to some of the, the support staff that's mm -hmm. here, you know, that we don't normally get a chance. As a fan, right. you see those people, but mm -hmm. you don't get a chance to talk to them or find out their story. For so sure. on behalf of Kyle and the whole uh, Misfit team, we thank you for coming on Pit Talk tonight. And you know, um, as I always say, you know, and, and Eric will tell you, what's your tag? We'll see you at the races. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs>